My name is Danny Coker. People call me The Count. Money is a topic which people usually don't want to speak about, unless said money concerns a celebrity, of course. More often than not, fans and curious folks want to know how rich their favorite TV star or singer is. And while some of them are open to reveal those details in return, others are notably unwelcoming. If it comes to Counting Cars lead star Danny Coker, we could surely talk hours about his life and projects, and even then, that wouldn't satisfy people's curiosity regarding his financial status, expensive belongings, many businesses, and investments. If you're one of those who want to know every little detail about the Count's finances, then this is the right place for you. Get ready to discover how much Danny earns, his lifestyle, little-known details about his career, and what he's doing nowadays. So, is Danny Coker rich? As you might have expected, the answer is in the affirmative. Danny is relatively wealthy, having a net worth of approximately $13 million as of mid-2021. Now you're probably wondering if all that money comes from appearing in counting cars. Truth be told, that's an unknown. Danny earns an estimated $100,000 per show's episode, and while that figure might be a little too generous, an official estimation of how much he actually earns from it hasn't been stated by either history or himself. Besides that, Danny supposedly wasn't paid a salary when he appeared as an expert in porn stars, which makes it obviously impossible to count that as part of his net worth. Other than that, we know Count's Customs income is quite prolific, especially considering the business earnings come from both customizing cars and their exhibition room, which has become a highly visited tourist attraction in Las Vegas. If you add that to the fact that Danny also owns a tattoo parlor and a rock bar, we're sure his fortune just keeps growing. It happens quite often that people lose track of what TV stars are doing, especially if they don't actively follow their every step on social media or just stop watching their shows. Something like this also applies to Danny Coker, who, despite counting Carr's massive popularity, doesn't have a huge number of people following him on Twitter and Instagram. While Danny certainly doesn't comment much about his personal life, we can get an idea on what he's doing nowadays thanks to Count Custom's website and the few things he posts on social media. First of all, you shouldn't worry too much about the future of Count's Customs for the time being. The business is still open and going strongly nowadays, and despite some scheduling changes it went through in 2020 due to the many COVID-19 restrictions, the shop hasn't been shut. When it comes to his other businesses, it seems that Danny's bar, Count's Vamped, is also still active and usually showcases live performances by local groups, including Danny's rock and roll band Count 77. What about Counting Cars then? Well, in mid-2020, the show premiered its ninth season, and while it seemed considerably shorter than the previous ones, it might be because the pandemic restrictions we mentioned before affected the filming time, but hopefully another season will be on the way sooner rather than later. Even if his tough-looking appearance makes him seem unapproachable, a rebel guy, the truth is that Danny Coker is quite likable. Not only that, he is perhaps surprisingly a man of traditions as well seeing that he did his best to contribute to his family's business while still pursuing his passion for automobiles. As you might imagine, Danny's love for cars and motorcycles started very early in life. Whether his passion for it started when he was gifted a bike at only 8 years of age, or just because his family worked for Ford, the path that led him to choose dedicating his life to automobiles was a mix of everything that has surrounded him virtually since he was born. Originally from Cleveland, Danny learned the basics of mechanics by himself and didn't shy away from car-related occupations such as designing and customizing. This while also splitting his teens touring with the Cathedral Quartet, which was his father's famous gospel group and which obviously ignited his already existing love for music. If you take all of these factors into account, you might understand why Danny is the guy he is now. We don't know exactly when Danny Coker realized moving to Sin City was the right decision for his career, but whatever he was looking for in Las Vegas, he found it. The first somewhat major project he had there was hosting Saturday Fright at the Movies, a TV show which showcased horror movies once a week for almost 10 years until its cancellation in 2000. Interestingly enough, the show's network KFBT was owned by Danny's family, but was sold in the late 1990s and is nowadays known as KVCW. The important thing about his whole involvement with TV at the time was that he got to develop the Count Cool Rider, his own version of a goth Elvis which evolved into the Count later making it obvious that even before counting cars, he was already a local celebrity by his own means. Danny's time to shine came with his debut in Pawn Stars in 2010, when he appeared as an expert to help the pawn shop staff acquire a Jeep. That was the first of several appearances he made in the widely acclaimed show until 2013, when he suddenly stopped his involvement. 
While his exit from Pawn Stars is still not clarified, it was probably because he was just too busy with Counting Cars, which premiered in 2012. Thanks to Pawn Stars, Danny Coker was fortunately already somewhat popular with History Channel's audience prior to his show's premiere, making it not a wonder why the series' ratings rose quickly from the start. To date, Counting Cars has been on the air for nine seasons and has featured celebrities such as Dee Snyder, Ziggy Marley, and the Harrison's guys from Pawn Stars. Even more, while the wide number of successful projects showcased in it is hard to count, those have greatly inspired and entertained the show's audience, whether they're motorheads or just casual viewers. Of course, the show's popularity can be partially attributed to the promotion Pawn Stars granted Danny and his business since his first appearance in that show, but it's undeniable that County Cars gained fame by its own means. As proof, data sites such as RatingGraph.com confirm that the series has an average of 7.1 audience points throughout its nine seasons, while also consecutively achieving highly rated season premieres. At this point, you might be really curious about how Danny Coker was able to build such a fortune by himself. While the truth is that most of his money comes from his several businesses added to his income from TV, we're still going to give you a deeper insight into the way his investments came to be so successful. If you're wondering what is really the story of how Count's Customs came to be, it actually goes a long way back to the late 1990s when the business was established through Danny's association with his father. However, how Danny came up with the idea was another thing altogether. It started when he asked Shannon Aikau to build a chopper for him. Unexpectedly, the bike took too much attention and it was right then when Danny sensed it was a good business opportunity. Along with Aikau, Danny established Count's Customs as a body shop at first mostly specializing in choppers and other bikes, having a specific favoritism for old ones, but integrating modern technology and new customizing techniques in their projects as well. Interestingly enough, in 2007, Danny told the website RideOnTV.com that he was involved in the design process of every bike that entered the business's doors. The big effort he and his early staff put in to grow Count's Customs from scratch was well compensated, as the shop eventually expanded the cars as well. Budgets also increased, as nowadays the charge is several thousands for every project they work on. In the early 2010s, Danny associated with Motley Crue's vocalist Vince Neil to found Feels Good, a rock and roll bar located in Sahara Avenue, Las Vegas. However, only a couple years later, Danny was left as the bar's sole owner when Neil sold his share of the business. Subsequently, Feels Good was remodeled and became what is nowadays known as the Count's Vamped. As you should have already guessed, Counts Vamped is entirely themed as a rock bar, offering menus showcasing classic bands' names and quite often live events. In 2016, it was rumored that the business was on sale for over $2 million, but it was later confirmed that only its building was on sale, and Danny kept the bar ownership. Years later in 2020, the bar faced several problems due to the COVID-19 pandemic spread, which inherently restricted the number of customers and live show attendance. As the Las Vegas Review Journal informed at the time, the situation led Counts Vamped to lose several staff members who could no longer endure the lack of available work. Fortunately, at some point in early 2021, Counts Vamped resumed hosting live shows, if with slightly smaller audiences. Other than that, Danny also owns Counts Tattoo Company, a somewhat private tattoo parlor, also located in Sahara Avenue. The shop offers its clients VIP rooms and a wide range of creative options to enjoy. Danny Coker always knew his passion wasn't limited only to cars and bikes, as it went well beyond that. As mentioned, Danny's childhood was spent traveling with his father's gospel group, which greatly influenced his views and musical taste. Although, of course, Danny became a 1970s and 80s rock and roll band's fan while growing up. He had actual experience singing as well. He didn't publicly show off his talent until 2011 when he started joining casual session concerts with his friends John Zito, Barry Barnes, Stoney Curtis, and Paul DeZibio in his bar Counts Vamped, forming what we know today as Counts 77. Although the band only initially played 1970s cover songs, their live shows went so well that they decided to make a permanent deal, and the fact Danny was the bar's owner obviously was of help as well. In 2014, the band was signed to Shrapnel Records and released their first self-titled album, followed by Soul Transfusion in 2017. All in all, Count 77 hasn't been as financially profitable as his other projects, but when it comes to music, Danny is probably more interested in having fun than making money. Despite how public the life of a celebrity can be, Danny Coker is one of the very rare reality stars who prefers not to make a big deal of his private life. If you have been paying close attention to him, you might already know what we're talking about, but if not, let us explain. The truth is that Danny is very private when it comes to his personal life, 
not revealing a lot about it, even during interviews or on TV. Nevertheless, we managed to gather a couple of details about his essential part of his life, such as the name of his wife, Corey, who is the manager and entertainment director of Counts Vamped. However, we don't know for certain if Danny and Corey have children, or even when they married, but the relationship looks strong and stable. We can't talk about Danny Koga's financial situation without mentioning his very impressive car and bike collection. If you know Danny's taste, you won't be surprised that his collection mostly consists of classic automobiles such as a 1966 Mustang GT, a 1956 Chevy Stepside, and a 1974 Roadrunner. However, the car that is still missing from his garage is the 1972 Lamborghini Miura SV, which he's still looking for unsuccessfully. While his bikes are less commented on, he has around 70 to show off, including his daily rider Chopper the Coffin, and several other high rollers and lane splitters. As far as we know, the most money Danny has ever spent on a car for personal use is $100,000. But if we can assure you of something, it's that collecting cars is more than just business for him and is one of his life's passions. As you've obviously noticed already, this interesting character has several of those. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpick these videos which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.